The boat arrives. Come with speed. The boat took long enough. Prince Roland, will you leave your brother unavenged? Wow. You! Go. Leave this place. The Archduke will be content with your father's head. Never. S. Ross will answer for its crimes today. Your Highness! A shame. You might have lived a long life. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Sir Maxwell! My Prince, you are responsible for more than just your own life now. You are a leader, and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. My friends of House Wolfort, I leave Prince Roland in your care. I knew it. Let me go! Release him to me, and there may be mercy for you yet, Maxwell. It is you who should be seeking mercy. Must you do this? Very well. Wow. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. You were only toying with me at the tourney. Only a fool shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. I could not have said it better myself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maxwell's the shit. How do you still stand? You were this realm's fiercest warrior, Dawn Sphere. You were. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins. She hit him straight into the water. Remember me complete. Wow, we just got wrecked. And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Esfrost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. So easy. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Sword Upon the Scales, Chapter 6, Part 1. There are no places to go. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Patriate. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, 
You need but say the word. In that case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold, and Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three high houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out, but Avlora will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. <sighs> Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. <sighs> A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Your friend is dead, 100%. Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us, and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. What has he done to us? <sighs> Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring. And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head! 
Right there and there. Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now. Like just like that. Just like on top right there. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all too short lived era of peace, and in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Dude, that's a lot of story. Lord Vendroy Falcus, uh, King Ragnar's loyal bannerman since the days of the Salt Iron War, received the news of his liege green faith. Your Majesty, House Falks has failed you. I have failed you. Hi, house! Damn it all! When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? But no, cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. True. Send, on, send me all your army, man. Wolf for it. Let's go. Lord Silvio Tellior, head of the one Greenbrook tree high houses, ponders at what the future holds for his domain. So his domain is very close to... Ace Frost, so probably gonna try to ally himself with Ace Frost. <sighs> Whatever is House Tellior to do? With King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? Uh, the Wolfords may choose to ransom the Prince to Esfrost. In return for amnesty for their own domain. If it comes to that, Esfros will either kill the prince and princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfros may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. 100%. Knew it. Minister Patriot, advisor to the king, conduct a, convert, a covert investigation of the Crown City under the pretense of a routine inspection. To what end? It would seem things have calmed outside the castle walls. What is to become of us now? Word has it the King's Guard's been slaughtered to the last man. We must flee while we have our lives. If they meant to kill ordinary folk like us, wouldn't they have done so already? Even as frosty dogs have some honor then. Who'd have thought? Anyway, there's no point fighting. What'll be, will be. 
Our people seem less resentful of Esfros than I would have expected. No doubt due to the Archduke's decision to focus their attack on the castle and leave the town itself unscathed. Very true. So the common folk won't be a problem. That just leaves the matter of the royal family. His Grace and the Crown Prince have been dealt with, and Princess Cordelia has been brought to heel. Prince Roland is the only one unaccounted for, but the men I arranged for hunt him down as we speak. Mm -hmm. Word has it there's also a sizable bounty on his head. No, he'll not last long. I knew Gustadolf to be a shrewd man, but his attention to detail is nothing short of astonishing. I have seen all I would. Let us return. I wonder if he was with them all along, or just after the attack. News of Genbrook's fall reaches the citadel of Jassan in the far off holy state of Heizen, where a great battle of the Slot Iron War was fought so many years ago. Minister Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded, and it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort, with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what do the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with the Hierophant at once. Yeah, no kidding. Minister, if I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed, you may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a bird to the palace. Tell them that the Holy One's faithful servant Sorsley would humbly beg an audience. At once, Master. Okay. Alright, that's it. Main story. Having made their escape by boat, Serenoa and his retinue finally make their way back to Wolfort's domain. But what awaits them there? Did you get out? Lord Serenoa, thank the heavens you're safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. So quiet. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. The father is dead. His grace was beheaded at oh. the Crown City not bells ago. Not hours ago. Father. No. Say it is not so! Roland. I can only imagine what you're feeling now, your highness. But I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simon. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Has something befallen father? Yeah.
Come Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father. Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you, Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Of course. Our healers are doing everything they can. But none can say. Dude, he was already dying, like, five chapters ago. Very he well. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. Mm -hmm. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. The hat and the mask. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. Yeah. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell... You too abandon me now? <sighs> he should have just cooled it out as soon as he did that nuclear bomb stuff. At Gustadolf's command, S-Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. <laughs> All right, as the Isfrosty's army advanced on Castle Wolfort, another crisis looms large for Cyrenoa and Prince Roland. My lord, the Esfrosti army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Evlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taken any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. You cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esfrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. 
Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. But see, your highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Woolfort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. You must decide. I cannot render a decision here and now. There must be some solution. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince. But as their lord, I must ensure my people's safety. We cannot hope to win against his wrath. If we do nothing to stop them, many of will lose their lives. How is this even an option? I cannot render a decision here now. There must be some solution. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince. But as their lord, I must ensure my people's safety. I am sorry, Saranoa. Pray do what you feel is best for your house. I will find some way of helping my family. Your mind is made up, then. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. is already over there. Very nice. 